Hello, I just watched the new episode, and I have a lot to do tonight, so I'm hoping that I can make this video quick. Okay. Right now, I'm Martha Jones, and who the hell are you? Okay, I love that line so much, I'm sorry. I can't get over how much I like it. I also really love that Martha, the first thing she does is she wakes up and she tries to help this the Hath. The Hath were really awesome, I really like the Hath. I wish that they could have engaged more with the humans so that you could get more of a sense into their brains and stuff to see how they think. Of course they might only think about like the fighting and everything just like the humans sort of did, but I'm hoping that it was different. And I wish we could have seen more of that, but maybe I'm sure they'll come back in future series or whatever. Okay, so I can't find it right now, but the little, the little mouse the doctor had, I totally have one of those. So when I saw that, I was just laughing really hard because I think, thought that was adorable. I absolutely love how the doctor never uses a gun or never encourages violence and that he believes there's always another choice and there's always another option. And this episode really brought that out again. He, I think it's being brought out a lot more in this series, more than the other series. And I think that, I don't know, I think that's really admirable. And I really love how he always says that. My favorite quote of this episode is probably, not impossible, just highly unlikely. I loved how he kept saying that because it's so true. Like everyone says things, certain things are impossible and the doctor does them. And it's not that they're impossible, it's that they're just highly unlikely. And I think that that's personally one of my philosophies on life is that I don't think anything's really impossible, but highly unlikely a lot of things are. So that's just a good philosophy I think to have in life. Another quote I liked was that there's always something worth living for because that was when Martha was, you know, going back and the doctor was seeing her off and that was just I really like that moment between the two of them. As for the ending with the dot with uh, the doctor's daughter, I knew that she wasn't going to die, but I also sort of knew that he, she wasn't going to be traveling with them. I could just feel it, but I didn't think that when she was shot, she would die. I thought she'd come back, and I also didn't think that she'd travel with them. So I don't really know what I thought she would actually do, but that's just what I thought she wouldn't do. <laughs> I recently read uh, Wetland, which is part of the Doctor Who series um, from the BBC, and it was really good. I like the writing in it. Um, I'm not sure. I haven't looked up to see if the author of this, which is Mark Mikulski, I think it is. I don't want to butcher that name, so I'm sorry. It's right here. I'll put it in the sidebar. Then I also have this one that I'm going to read next, so I'm excited to do that. Wooden Heart. The writing's really good. It's a lot like the episodes. I haven't seen... I haven't gone to see if he has actually written any episodes of Doctor Who, but I'm going to check. I also finally got my Doctor Who t-shirt. It's really cool. I'm excited that I have it now. I've been waiting for it for a couple weeks. As for weekly videos, or not weekly videos, but videos during the week, we will be doing some later on. I know I don't have a lot of time, especially since my play is going up and stuff, and then Rosanna has exams and tons of work going on, so both of us are super, super busy, but we plan on doing videos during the week in the future. So if you want to send us, like, private messages or, you know, things, comments on either this video or any video or on the channel page or whatever, uh, giving us things to talk about in week weekly videos, like somebody said maybe top ten lists, like, our top five or top ten favorite monsters, whatever. I've actually been kind of curious as to what you guys consider a monster in Doctor Who, because, like, for instance, the Hath are these weird creature-like things, but are they monsters? Because they're, I always associate the word monsters with evil things. So, just tell me what you think on that. I'm really sorry I couldn't talk more about this episode, but tell me what you guys thought of it, and Rosanna, I can't wait to see your video. I haven't actually watched it yet. I'm not sure if this video will be put up before yours, but yeah. I will see you guys next week. Alonzi Alonzo.